Uh, we're going to be focusing on, you know, men's uh, fashion line. Well, so Nathaniel, let's, let me if I just raise something off camera when we're, yeah, we're talking yeah, about yeah. finding the right suit. So it's a lot of us are guilty. Um, a lot of men are guilty when we're going to work. You find out that we are, we are in suits, but um, either the, the arms are too long or the, the suit is that it's the wrong cut of suit for the, for, the, for the occasion, the purpose. How do we even know what, what, what type of suits do we have? Even before we, color, we come to color combinations. All right. First of all, I think, um, you know, I have to repeat this here. I've said this several times when I have the opportunity to speak to um, students in, um, in, in the tertiary institutions and, you know, for career day and everything. Mm -hmm. I tell people that investing in your look doesn't necessarily mean you have to be uh, P. Diddy or you have to be McDan or you have to be San Jonah or you have to be Despite or you have to be, what, Jeff Bezos or whatever. Investing mm -hmm. in a good look does not necessarily mean you have to be the richest or the wealthiest man on mm -hmm. earth. It means paying attention to detail, looking within yourself, looking at what your likes are, what your dislikes are, mm -hmm. and following that line or following that trend. Let me explain. Mm -hmm. So I have loads of friends who, are, who look very good in suits. I think they look better in suits than I do. Some of them you know. One of them, for instance, is the chief marketing officer of MTN. Noel Ganson. Mm -hmm. He has a similar, you know, good-looking gentleman. He he doesn't do suits all the time, but when he wears his shirts, his uh, he folds his sleeves very very neat and very clean, buttons it all the way up to the mm -hmm. top. It gives a certain effect. Yeah. He does wear suits, but most of the time you'd see him wearing an African shirt mm -hmm. or you know something else. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Kwame Sefakai. I think he looks very good in suits. I mean, on a few occasions that we've all had to do black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see. You see. So. Um, we've had to do black tie themes, and he looks very good in the black black tie theme. Yeah, you know, in this yeah. three piece, you yeah, know, true. looking very good. Now so you see, attention to it. so so I you see, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually have. I think we have a picture that will roll of you know of all of us in suits. You see, so so you need to know the kind of person you are, and also, I think that grooming is at the heart or at the base of healthy living. Let me explain. Um, I don't know how many years you've known Jay, but Jay has been like this ever since. <laughs> I'm telling you. See? you. <laughs> so there is, it's either that it's by default or he, he's making a deliberate effort to keep his body in shape and keep clean. <laughs> so once you do that, once you do that, first of all, you want to look good in your clothes. Mm -hmm. So you need to exercise regularly, you need to keep your body in shape, and you need to make sure that those clothes all always fit and they're looking good on your frame. That right. is number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. we're looking mm -hmm. at your hair, we're looking at your breath, we're looking at your skin, we're <gasps> looking at your, you mm -hmm. know, your, your toenails, your fingernails and everything. Mm -hmm. It's at the end, at, once again, it's at the, the base of, of, of good living and good health because your oral health, once you're always taking care of it, you notice discoloring of your teeth, you do something about it, you're keeping it healthy, you're keeping mm -hmm. good oral health. Mm -hmm. While you're looking at your skin, you do research, you take a, a look at the kinds of creams that go with your skin, mm -hmm. uh, the kinds of soaps that go with your skin. Mm -hmm. All of these things go to help you to mm -hmm. keep your skin in good tone mm -hmm. and always well moist moisturized and looking smooth all the time, okay? I'm not talking about bleaching and all of those things. No. Those are for, yeah. you know. <laughs> 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 good. Else. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, in the same way, you look at all other parts of your body, and the same principle applies, you understand me? Now the thing about suits and the right suits to wear. It is always said that um, as a man, I mean, if you're looking for suits, the start base or the startup will be um, a navy blue suit and a black suit, okay? okay. Because navy blue suits mm -hmm. go with almost everything, mm -hmm. depending on how you combine them, okay? So you could actually wear a navy blue suit to a wedding, but it depends on the kind of shirt and the kind of tie or bow tie that goes with it, okay? Yeah. So um, in, the, in the world of business or in the workplace, you don't want to come out looking very, very flashy mm -hmm. with extreme colors and all of that. You want a toned down effect. You're going to talk business. You're going to share ideas from within your head. You don't want to... <laughs> You know, go there. But, but at the end of the day, head, yeah. but at the end of the day, what what it is is you need to look clean and you need to you need to look appealing, and that that look has to communicate something about your persona. It's as simple as that. Now, in terms of shoes as well, um, the advice, especially if you are not the type who can afford a big wardrobe or can maintain a big wardrobe, is to go for black and brown because once again they yeah, go with almost yeah, everything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Taking care of them is another subject which I guess we're going to talk about mm -hmm. another day. 
But the basic principle here is that you need to get understand your frame, know the I mean know your size. This is the same as knowing your blood pressure, knowing you know mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. BMI at reg on in, within regular intervals and all of that. Okay, so you know your frame, you know your neck size at every single point based on how much you lose and gain weight. I've been, I've been, you know, in the days when I, I did back sliding, mm -hmm. I went into 17, 17 and a half. Mm -hmm. This is my neck I'm talking about. Yeah. Now I've, I'm back to between 16 and 17, okay? And I've maintained it for some time. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's not to say I've been extra That's the thing. A lot of like men everybody. are guilty um, yeah. of not knowing their, their, you know, their, their size. I mean, it mm. took me a while up until mm. late... Uh, 2013, yeah. before yeah. I actually realized that a lot of slim fit clothes would fit me. So exactly. if I was buying a shirt, I, I look out for a slim fit. Yeah. At first, I, I'll go I, for a regular, and then I realize the arms yeah, are Jay, a bit and too I, and short. I think, and I think you look good in what you're wearing. You see, Thank it's, you, it's giving you. It's you see, <laughs> it has given you this. Uh, it's this fine tone between a business-like look and the. Uh, yes. You know, oh, well, it's like a semi-formal, you know, business look. Okay, because what you have <laughs> is a thick wool, is a yes. thick wool jacket. Yeah. With um, uh, a vest that has plain fabric and yeah. pants that also balance between thick wool and pr uh, plain well, fabric. Well, it might have gotten no. different shades of the blue, but I still yeah. felt like um, I was blue. Very well, very well. But but hey, you see, um, also we need to take one thing into, into consideration. Um, you need to consider what you're going to do every time when you're stepping out, mm -hmm. okay? What am I going to do? What, my late father, God bless his soul, trained us, or trained all of us with this, that whenever you're traveling and you want to, you know, you want to pack your bag, one of the easiest ways is to ask yourself very simple questions. First of all, I need to take care of my body. So from your hair down to your toenails. Then you pack everything. Pack everything yeah. After that, you ask yourself, what am I going to do there? Am I going for a conference? What kind of conference is it? Am I going for a church program? Am I, am I attending a party? Mm -hmm. And then what do I need? You pack them. And then within 10 minutes, you are done packing. You yeah. don't have any confusion. Yeah. So in the same way, you ask yourself, what is it that I'm, what kind of, you know, is it that I'm attending? Mm -hmm. Where am I going? Am I going for a board meeting? Am I attending a strategy session? Mm -hmm. Am I going for a beach party? Mm -hmm. Am I going for a wedding? Am I mm -hmm. going for a black tie dinner? Am mm -hmm. I going for a white tie dinner? Mm -hmm. You know, am wow. I going for... White tie dinner? Black yes, tie dinner. yes, I know there black are. Tie, now, let me, let me explain them to you. Mm -hmm. Now, in, in, in wearing suits and in, in formal wear, black tie, the black tie theme is at the highest end of, you know, of, of, you know, of dressing. Okay? okay, so if you'd notice, okay. um, the most expensive uh, events, yeah. the gala dinners, uh, always always try to go along the black tie theme. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at all of the big musical concerts, the piano recitals around the world. They say do a black tie theme. Sometimes they balance it between black tie and white tie, okay. and that is supposed to um, give a certain communication of success, a certain communication of you know the things that revolve around the high end mm -hmm. and all of that, mm -hmm. okay? So it's at the highest end okay. of, of, of everything. Now, I'm, I have a bow tie on. Now, yes. there are different types of bow ties. Now, there are tiers of bow ties. This is a self-tied bow tie. Okay. I knotted it myself. Now, oh. the, the self-tied bow tie is at the highest end of bow ties as well. So from there, you come to the pre-tied, and then you come to those with the... Um, I'm sure when you were a little boy, I mean, you probably wore one of them. Well, I mean, I'm sure I did too. Um, but you know those ones with the, uh, the elastic... Uh, yeah, the elastic oh. ones. Fittings. You just fit it yeah, there yeah. and then you But at this stage of our lives, it's we a no-no. It's a no-no. No, you don't go there. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, <laughs> just do a pre-tied a pre pre -tied or pre-done mm -hmm. bow tie. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let me tell you something. The reason why I'm noted with the bow tie. The reason why I'm, I'm noted with the bow tie is that I, I have a certain, uh, you know, mindset around it that informs okay. what I do and the oh. discipline with which I do what I do. Okay. Now, tying the bow tie, the reason why a lot of people, I'm sure you go out a lot of the time and you realize that people have self-tied bow ties, but they leave them, you know, yeah, untied, hanging, yeah. hanging, and they, mm -hmm. they use it. It's, it's wrong to dress that way, oh. if you ask me, yeah. If you are, you, you are done with the event and you're leaving, probably you, you can be pardoned for doing that, but you are not supposed to undress when you are still at the event. It is never done. When right, the event is still running, manners. it is never done. Okay. In the same way, you cannot ever untie your tie when you know, you're supposed to 
still be at work or you're supposed to be in that meeting or you're supposed to be, you know, because what does it communicate? It communicates tiredness. It communicates, look, frustration, um, frustration yeah, confusion, yeah. stress, and all of that. And it communicates so many different things. So if you want to put on a tie, knot it properly and tie it to the fullest mm -hmm. and let it fit properly. I'm not saying stifle your neck. No. <laughs> Make sure that it fits properly and it looks good. Yeah. There are rules around everything, and we need to adhere to them no matter what the situation is. So now this, it's a little complicated for those who are now getting used to it. But you see, the process of going, it is a painstaking process. And it takes longer to do. I mean, I, I, with, because I'm used to it, I'd say it, it's shorter it's to short, do that yeah. than, than, a, than a flying tie. Mm -hmm. But you see, the process of going around it, it tells you something about life. It communicates discipline. It communicates process. And it tells you that before you achieve something beautiful, you need to work hard for it. Okay, and this okay. is the hard work. The process of knotting a bow tie. There was a short video here that, where, you know, that had somebody do it. You know, it was fast forwarded. And that's what, you know, and wow. that's why it is placed at the highest end. And that's why I, I, I'm just fascinated about, about self-tied bow ties. How do you even select the kind of bow tie in, mm. for which particular event so you don't look like you are? Because now, mm. uh, at one point in time, if you had asked me earlier on before you said this, I'll, I'll say that, oh, the, this hand, you know, tied mm. bow tie, self-tied um, yeah. self would be for, you know, I'm going for an event. But here you are, it still fits television. Yeah. It still fits your morning. It still yeah. fits your business meeting. Okay. How Very can well. I select? How will I know which kinds of tie to even select? Okay, so once again, it's about the design and it's about the color tone. This one has a checked design. Now, the colors are not too, um, they're not too elaborate. They're not too loud. They're a little toned down. Mm -hmm. So this is a mixture of uh, toned down, I mean, red that's toned down and um, olive green, okay? So... Um, once again, it's almost towards your okay. jacket, the, the, the green in mm -hmm. here. So it fits for a business meeting. I could use this for a wedding as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. In fact, this whole look can go for a wedding as well. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Pastor Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. True. Yeah. Now, but but the, the thing is, once again, you ask yourself, where are you going? Um, you know, I got I got an invitation on Prime Morning. Okay. So you can you know um, balance the look a little bit between very sophisticated, you know. A little casual here and there and all of that okay so um, I have this accessory on my lapel now the other thing that a lot of people the other mistake that a lot of people make I see people having all of these that hang in a certain way and all of that well it's their choice but at the end of the day don't overdo it that's the question don't do not overdo yeah. it now the pin that I have here has an extension that could lie here on the front I could I could take it off and do it now now if I if I add this to that chain at the back, let me just quickly um, do a demonstration for you. Now, if I add this at the front, now what have I, okay, um, oh, it dropped. I dropped the pin, the mouth. Okay, so once I do this, guess what? So this is here, this is also here. It looks a, a little too busy, you yeah. understand me? Yeah. So you have the option of hiding it, either hiding it at the back or bringing it to the front, oh, okay? okay? So you fit it, um, on your on your lapel in such a way that it hides at the back and then you get to enjoy um, you know the, the chain that I've, I've yeah. added to it and of course this one is also a certain strategy I mean you need to learn all of learn these it, things yeah. and these are little little tricks that we all you know apply I'm okay so curious. Um, yeah so the uh, the chain or the sure. what's, what's the, the whole thing was it called okay so this is a pin this is basically a pin and this is a, a mini chain I, I mean I got this from another accessory that I had bought and I'm a very creative person, so I'm like, okay, you know something? Let's uh, let's add this to this and, and create something okay. something so amazing. So it's, okay? it's, it's an accessory, not yeah. a rule, because I, I know that this is an accessory. Okay. I could actually, okay. So let's 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 get this off, okay? Shall we? Let's get these off. Now that it's off. So now my lapel is plain. Looks boring. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> now, I can also decide to take this off, and it gives me a completely different look. Okay, so for instance, if I were walking into a board meeting, I'll be like, okay, you know something, let me soften the look, soften a, little the look bit, a little okay? bit, okay? Yeah. Um, this is a very, very colorful, you know, this is a very colorful uh, breast pocket handkerchief or pocket square. So I take it out, I leave this, and I have my bow tie, and it's, uh, this is very, very formal, okay? Um, I have my, my, my jacket, mm -hmm. and I'm fine. I'm, you know, this is a, a one-button uh, jacket with a, with a, a peak lapel, and yeah. I'm, I'm done, and I'm ready and good to go. Okay, 
So, and, and the other thing, like I said, um, shoes. Shoes should be between black and brown. Um, you, can, you can play around colors. Look, I love this uh, dark blue uh, brogues that you have on. They're yeah. lovely, you know. Travis. And they're Freeman, flat sole. Freeman clothing, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> lovely. Flat soles, you know, they're very well brogued at the front, in the mm -hmm. middle, and on the sides. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I mean, this is the thing. And a friend of mine said that uh, every gentleman needs to have, uh, you know, Oxfords in there. In there. And these, these are types of Oxford, but yeah. this is a, a yeah. single buckle, yeah, you know, front. Buckle okay, so, so, so that is basically it. Now, um, you can turn your look from 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 casual to formal, okay? Now, if I have you take off your flying tie, and I give you this, okay? Well, we can try it. Okay, let's try it. Let's All right. Try it. Okay. All right, so Great. I'm going to get styled and groomed by... Uh, okay, no, so no. take off your flying tie. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, so maybe you can... Okay. You Very can, well. Yeah. So just, just take it out. Take yeah. it out. Take it out. No, no, no. Take um, the just take it out completely. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Very well. So there we go. Take it oh, out. Okay. Pull it out completely. Pull it out. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Very well. Okay. So there. I have this hat here. Coolie hat. Now, um, <laughs> let's bring your collar down. Yeah. You can keep it there. Oh, you can keep, the just button keep there. it there. Yeah, okay. keep the button. Yeah, sure. And then um, we keep the button on. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And then, yeah, just so you have a clean look, always mm -hmm. pull the shirt yeah. from the bottom. How lucky. There we go. And then also another rule is that you always need to have the last button open, open. because you will okay. sit, you will stand, yeah. you know, you will... You, you, See, I told you, you I had know. a lot to learn. Very well. So now... I'm from Motley now. Now, okay, so I've got... Okay, so to make this look a little sophisticated mm -hmm. as well, you can do a few things. For okay. instance, I've got some pins here, okay? So there we go. This is a pin that yeah. you normally place on your lapel. Yeah. Now, I take this off, or look at this one. Even yeah. this one that you have on, mm -hmm. okay? We can place it here and give this coolie high a, a totally different look. Mm -hmm. So let's try it out. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, la, la. Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was a struggle for women, apparently. I'm going, on a lunch apparently. Date. <laughs> I'm, going I'm taking myself on a lunch date. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So you fit this here very nicely, okay? You know, and ah. there we go. You have something totally different. And and you see, there's a, a little uh, similarity between the yeah. colors. So there's a bit yeah. of green in here. So you place oh, this right. on. Yeah. Place this on. Okay. I look like a... And um, <laughs> if, we had, if we had sneakers here, yeah. if, we, if you had, the, you know, a pair of nice sneakers here, you took these off and placed them on. I actually like have a white, a white A white pair of sneakers. Oh, You'd create right. a totally, totally different, different look. look. Yeah. You know. And this gives you, okay, so so you're out to, um, let's oh, say you were an wow. attendee. Yeah. Let's say you were an attendee to the recent, um, you know, three music awards oh, events. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, nominees <laughs> announcement How that you, like you attended. Now? How yeah. you like me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we should do a photo shoot yeah, for you. Yeah, I can <laughs> walk around here. Like, yeah, like we can do a... Oh, uh, 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 save our, the our, date uh, pose. Yes, yeah, 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 save yeah, the sure. date. <laughs> you know, so, so this... This wow. gives you a totally you different completely, look. Yeah. Exactly yeah. the point. Mm -hmm. In the same way, I could also decide, okay, um, I'm going somewhere, you know, okay, so it's, it's after work. Yeah. Uh, it's a cocktail. Um, it's um, a business cocktail. Yeah. Maybe, we'll maybe it's in the entertainment industry. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking like this. I've been looking like this since morning, mm -hmm. okay? So, I mean, showbiz. This is show business. Okay, I could decide to take off this one mm -hmm. and keep my my suspenders mm -hmm. on. Now, let me. Okay, so let's let's do this, shall we? Okay, so I take these off. Okay, okay. wait. Let me just hold on with the mic in there. There we go. I'm gonna re mic you myself. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. There okay. There. Fantastic. There okay. So there we go. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now he becomes the sound man. I'm the sound <laughs> man on the set. <laughs> yeah. And then All I right. can actually pick this so this we don't one. lose it. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Let's place this here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So so immediately I have a different look. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I have my bow tie and my what do you call it? Okay. Standard. I can decide to take off my flying my, my bow tie and mm -hmm. give it. Okay, so let's have this jacket oh, yeah. from here. Okay. The this pride is a double breasted man. Let me do it again. The pride with which a man picks up a jacket from, uh, you know, his wardrobe. Like, you pick it up and, yeah, you, you need to appreciate I it. Know. You know? Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is a, um, 
this is a, a, a jacket is, is double breasted. Mm -hmm. It has slanted pockets. I'm very crazy about slanted pockets, by the way. And um, it has brass colored, you know, buttons. Once again, you can imagine if these were, these buttons were very, very loud. It would have created a bit of a, yeah. uh, an Too artificial drama, effect. Yeah. Now, another rule. I know this is not what we're discussing today, but another rule. Always make sure that you use these types of hangers for your suits. Your suits are supposed to be taken care of like your girlfriends and your wives. It is a must. <laughs> it is a no-no. It is such a no-no. Uh, let me refer to the words of KKD. Once, um, you know, he was having a conversation somewhere, yeah. and he said, look, do not use those things to mm -hmm. hang your suits. Those <laughs> things are the plastic. The uh, plastic, you know. yeah. Because you see, these are shaped just like our shoulders are. They are properly shaped. Shape, yeah. Okay, so you touch touch yeah. your shoulder, uh, run your yeah. hands it's, around your shoulder, and you realize cool. that it is shaped exactly like our mm -hmm. shoulders are. Um, I mean, this is towards your neck as well. Yeah. So it keeps the suit in shape, mm -hmm. you know. So it's just like you go and park your car in the garage and you keep it to rest, you know, overnight as you also go and sleep. Yeah. It's the same principle. So there we go. So um, if I decide that I'm going for this nominee announcement, yeah. you know, all I need to do is get this on, okay? Get this on. And I've got a fine tone of different colors, yeah, colors. Yeah. to deal with. Get the sound out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so My mic. We can hear you. There we go. Thank you. So there we go. A fine tone of different colors to do. Voila. You know, um, so I have a bit of blue, a bit wow. of red. And like I said, this is show business, okay? Yeah. Uh, we're getting on the red carpet. You know, people need to see something a little out of the world. Yeah. You know, so before we all got seated, we all got there, you know, on the, on the, on the carpet and mm -hmm. on the backdrop to take some pictures, okay? So this, this goes so well. You know, so I have a coffee brown, you know. Once again, I've done quite a number of colors, but they're all not out of place. Everything yeah. falls within yeah, tone, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, so so there we go. This is this is a look that I can I can take out somewhere the, else. The okay. well the 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 color the color variation right, right from the tan yeah you know the brown the coffee brown uh, mm. to this grayish light I don't know whether it's a brown in there and then the blue in there is what even kills because it gives it depth. Exactly, exactly you know? the point. Yeah. Okay, so 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 there we go. We've created a totally different look. Interesting. A totally okay, different so, look. So now that you're done mm. with the look, I'm particular about fragrance scents. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, now, once again, you there are there are grades of fragrances. I mean, there are grades <laughs> the whole and conversation. grades of fragrances. Okay, so yeah, um, creeds from the creeds all the way down to whatever you'd want to get. What our advice is: get a very good shower. Um, know your body type and what your body takes and doesn't take. Mm -hmm. For instance, Nathaniel Atto is, um, doesn't do very well with stick deodorants. Stick deodorants. I'm with you, brother. Now, for some funny reason, it makes me perspire, you know, under, under my arms, right. and, and my underarms. So because of that, I mean, you're there, you're doing a bit of activity by the time you realize you're sweaty and, and, and that kind of thing. So I like to use um, the antiperspirant deodorants, the sprays, okay? Um, there are some that, that, that smell very good. For instance, if you, you are not good enough or you don't, you don't have the, the cash to go get a, a good fragrance, yeah. okay? Get that one on. Get a very good shower. Uh, check the kinds of soaps and the kinds of um, shower gels that you use. I react to shower gels a lot, so I use uh, bar soaps bar soap. uh, yeah. that, have, um, that have plant extracts, okay? So you use those ones, and after that, you use the, you know, and then... You, you watch your movement. Now, if you're somebody who has a car, fine. I have a car with an air conditioner, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. At certain places yeah. when it's getting hot, you mm -hmm. put on your air conditioner so that you don't sweat, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just anyhow. Now, for instance, if you also use leather seats in your car yeah, and you are true. in this kind of environment, then you need to watch it because if you don't use an air conditioner almost all the time and you're using leather seats in very hot weather, then you're likely to get out of your car with a mark of, you know, a big map yeah, of sweat uh, behind your, <laughs> yeah. you know, behind your clothes. When they dry up, they create this very not so inviting, you know, and it mm -hmm. creates a different impression about you, the individual. But quickly, so, Nat, where, yeah. where, sh where should a man wear his fragrance, say, perfume, particularly where? Mm -hmm. Under the arm? The okay, hand. so to have the, uh, 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 a lasting effect and that, you know, um, that effect that gives it out, 
It's behind your ears, okay? okay. Um, the right uh, in the front of your wrist, mm -hmm. okay? And at the back. Okay. And then maybe, um, you know, just between your, yeah. your thighs and biceps. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, in the middle, and that's it. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Well, we okay. pour it all online. Yeah, I, I bathe under there. Well, <laughs> we women, the way, way women wear well. the yes, is different. We'll talk yeah. about wow. it another day. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. we yeah. wish we had you know, all the time in the world to, you know, uh, talk about everything, especially when it comes to... Um, the when it comes to trousers as well mm. you know pants. And okay pants we can, we can just quickly quickly yeah. just before you okay so once again it's the same principle now there are different types of pants there are straight pants there are y-shaped pants uh, you know there are those that also you know at the end of the day what is important once again is mm -hmm. the length of your pants for me it's a no-no to wear pants that fall okay for me it is very important yeah, to know yeah. the length of your you know so that it's, it lies right above exactly. your shoes True. okay um, if it comes up, then it means you're trying to create a different effect. You could be a musician who's going on stage, who's yeah. trying to do like you know something very crazy. artistic. That's yeah. fine. But if you want to wear pants to work or you want to wear pants on a regular day, then they should lie right above your shoes. Mm -hmm. They should not. You should never have folds. Folds. Yeah. Um, I'm very expressive. I'm very creative. So, for instance, you see me do a little extra effect on mm -hmm. on the front of my pants. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of sketching for my friends, my designer friends, when wow. I, whenever I go to visit them to do stuff for me. Okay, so let them let them get good measurements, let them fit properly, and make sure that they are comfortable. Yeah. Okay, there are people who have um, big lower bodies, and men who have bigger lower bodies, and all of that. Now you need to measure your thighs properly. You need to measure your seat properly so you don't have a bulge in front of mm -hmm. you. So we we'll do a part two of this. I'm yeah, telling yeah. you. We'll <laughs> do a part two of this. Our time, our time is so up. Yes. Yet. Wow, Natalia, this is <laughs> great. Uh, and yes, now you're going to get a lot of people to follow you and watch your... On, yeah. on IG, you're on IG, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure, on Instagram, yeah. So it's at Citizen Atto on Instagram. At Citizen yes. Atto on Instagram. Uh, yes. You know, Citizen Atto, your master MC. So, um, sure. you know. Every other Fantastic. thing about, you know, my events and everything, it's, it's right there. Well, Citizen Atto. Yeah, thank you. But I have a video for yes. you. Just watch it quickly, uh, then we'll say bye-bye after that. Well, since he got my tie off, I've asked for a special offer to a special request to actually get my tie back on before we wrap out of here. <laughs> so whilst, yes, whilst he's teaching us how to tie a simple uh, flying tie, yes? So um, the, the part that comes to the front needs to be a little longer. Yes. Okay, so you pass it under, yeah. take it to the right side, okay. okay? So let's do it once more. There we go. Sure. Yeah, pass it to the right side, yeah. okay? Pass it behind. behind, take it around on the left, take it around to the left, and create a V effect. Our time is now up. you take it around, yes, and take it behind, and go into snap. the hole that you've created. That's it. And That's there we go. Oh, yeah. I there have my tie back. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. See you tomorrow.